Yo, what's up guys? This is the rarest item on Roblox. The Dominus Venari literally only has one owner. Roku is literally the only person on the entire website of Roblox who owns it. Ready Player One is a movie that came out back in 2018. And when the movie was coming out, they actually decided to sponsor Roblox and had an entire event. So there were tons of different clues and tons of things you had to find throughout different games on Roblox. This is honestly one of the craziest events that Roblox has ever held. Not only because it gave out a literal Dominus, but there were so many clues and so many things you had to figure out to actually win some of these prizes. So first you had to find the copper key, which also gave you this item, the copper crown of gold. And this key was actually found throughout the game Jailbreak. And in the game, they had different poems, which were kind of different clues to help you find your way along the path. In Jailbreak, there was a total of four different clues. And once you found all of them, you actually would have gotten the copper key. The first clue said the location of the copper key may sound surprising, especially if you have been antagonizing. It's rehabilitation you seek, then find this grand antique. Infiltrate the sacred place unharmed, and there you shall find a secret old charm. So basically, it kind of just gives you clues to where you have to go to find the different parts. And what you had to do for this one was really weird. First, you had to take a car and literally crash it into a building. Then it was really weird. Literally, a chicken pops up and tells you that there's a bunch of things you need to rob, like a bank, a train, and stuff like that. Then there was a bunch of codes you had to figure out and tell to this random dude. And finally, there was like this little mini game that you had to do, which was kind of like Space Invaders, but a jailbreak version. And once you finally complete all those tasks, you would eventually get the copper key. Then for the jade key, it was found in the game Phantom Forces. So for this one, there was literally vending machines found across the map, which you had to shoot and solve different puzzles on these vending machines. And once you actually figured out that puzzle and shot in the right way, you would have gotten the Jade Key. And then once you got that Jade Key, there was one other thing you had to do, which was kind of play a round of zombies. If you guys ever played Call of Duty, basically there was just waves of zombies coming at you and you had to kill all of them to win the round. And in total, there were seven rounds of zombies that you had to kill before you won. Next, you had to get the Crystal Crown, which was in a game called Hexaria. And this one was a little bit more simple. There was first just a dude that you had to talk to and tell a few specific things to. And the Crystal Key actually was pretty easy. All you really had to do was just go talk to a bunch of random people, say a bunch of random phrases, and complete a couple different obbies. Compared to the other games, it was very simple. You just had to know what to say and where to go, and you could easily complete it. And now that you found all three keys, there was only one other game you had to play to actually win the Dominus Venari. But for this final task, there was a lot of things you need to do. In fact, there was a total of 16 different clues that you had to go ahead and find out before you would actually win your prize of the Dominus Venari. So there were a bunch of things that you had to do in the Roblox Egg Hunt 2018, and you would need to win this egg, the stained glass egg. And of course, to get this, there was a bunch of clues and a bunch of puzzles you had to find to get different cubes. And once you got all those cubes, you would eventually win the stained glass egg. And now that you finally have the stained glass egg, there was another thing you had to do. There was an entire obstacle course that you had to find within the egg hunt game with a bunch of different lasers everywhere. You had to solve these puzzles, avoid the lasers, and get to the end of this obstacle course. Of course, that wasn't it yet. There was a quiz that you actually had to do, which had questions based on things in the movie that you had to search up and then actually complete the quiz. And then that was the actual final thing you had to do. Now you just had to go into the game. There was a giant hallway you had to walk down and then there was a ride it kind of took you on, but there was nothing you had to actually do. You would see a table with a golden egg on it. And that means that once you actually claim that golden egg, you would get the egg and you would also get the Dominus Venari. But the only problem is that only the first person who completed all of these obbies and all of these puzzles actually got it. And to this day, Roku is literally the only person on Roblox that actually owns the Dominus Venari. And obviously there's never gonna be anybody else who has it either. 
It isn't a limited item, so we can't trade it or sell it, and it's only going to be on his account. If you did complete it second, third, or whatever, you would actually get another item. You would just get a pair of wings that kind of look like the Dominus Venari. You would get this item, the Golden Wings of the Pathfinder, which were also pretty cool, and like I said, kind of had the same vibe as the Dominus with the same gold and the same keys on the side from the movie. So this was definitely one of the craziest events that Roblox has ever had. There were so many things you had to complete in order to win that Dominus or to win the Golden Wings. But the craziest thing about all of this is that Roku wasn't even the first person to actually complete it. There were people who completed it before him, but because of a glitch, they actually didn't get the item. And once they actually fixed the glitch, Roku was the first person to do it. So he ended up winning. And Roblox also released a second Dominus at the same time called the Dominus Claves, which is literally just a silver version of the Dominus Venari. But the only way you could have got this item is if you actually worked on the Ready Player One event. So this one also was pretty unobtainable. It sucks that Roblox doesn't actually do these events anymore. It would be really cool if they decided to do something like that again, because even though it was a sponsored event, it was still pretty crazy that there were so many things that you actually had to do and it wasn't something that you could just finish in one day and it would take multiple days to do and it seemed like a lot of fun. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys actually thought of this event and if you actually played in it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. Peace.